Now to the big story across the state of Texas. Overnight, the governor's statewide COVID-19 mandates ended. Texas businesses can now operate at 100 percent, and they now set the rules their employees and customers must follow. That is not an easy task, though, for business owners who are just trying to keep everyone safe and happy. I don't have a mechanism to put my staff in the position to, you know, force people to do something that's not, you know, they're not legally bound to do. All of those public health measures have helped push COVID down, and we should continue to do that for a little while longer until we can really lock COVID away. Yeah, Texans are still encouraged to do their part to keep this virus from spreading. And remember, there is still a federal mask requirement for travel. You must mask up when you fly, take a bus, take a train, or even a ride share. Today is expected to be the start of some good news for the Texas economy and millions of people still struggling to get back on their feet. We know several industries are in the hiring process as they try to get back to full strength. Our Ben Russell is live at home this morning with some expert advice. And also, Ben, I understand you have an example of a local company ready to expand. We do, Deborah. The advice first, it, it is to be open to learning new skills and to be open to interviewing for your next job on the internet. That advice comes to us from Workforce Solutions of Tarrant County. They tell us they have been busy in recent days trying to match job seekers with employers, both of whom are coming to them to try to staff up as best they can, again, with today being a major reason for that. In terms of an example of a company that's looking to expand right this very minute, one that has ultimately thrived during the pandemic is a company called Sisu Energy. Sisu is a Fort Worth based trucking and transportation uh, provider. They're looking for independent owner operators, people who own their own trucks. Sisu Energy's business model is kind of like Uber, but for trucking because the company does not own any of the equipment, no trucks, no trailers, and it's their IT technology that they believe sets them apart. That and how well they pay. Their 100 plus drivers take in 12 to $13,000 a week before taxes. That is well above a lot of what their competitors pay. It's incredibly humbling because uh, there's a lot of people out there, a lot of industries out there that have been beaten down. They're unemployed. And it's something that it took us a while to wrap our head around when, you know, uh, every, you see people struggling. But as a company, you know, you want to help as much as you can. And then you see all these drivers we have generating this kind of revenue. And so what we're trying to do now is just get the message out. They are hiring again as we speak. Uh, as for Workforce Solutions, they will be hosting their latest virtual job fair at the end of this month. Those virtual job fairs, they say, have been a major success. The attendance for the virtual fairs is about triple what it was for the in-person job fairs that they had prior to the start of the pandemic. They tell us that means a lot of people are looking for work and they're clearly looking to do it in an all-new way.